In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up a workspace for use with Eclipse. Your Eclipse workspace is where your projects are going to be stored. So to create that workspace, the first thing you want to do is create the directory where you want to store that workspace. That's going to be somewhere that's easy to get to and also that's automatically backed up. So for example, if you use OneDrive, maybe you would want to put it there. That way, if something happens to your hard drive, you'll have a backup copy that you can restore. Now you can also use some sort of source control like Git to do that, but having an automatically backed up directory is an extra layer of protection. So once you've done that, start up Eclipse and Eclipse will prompt you for what directory to use as the workspace and you would select the directory that you created above. So let's see how that works. So here I have my Windows desktop and the first thing I need to do is create a directory. So I'll open up the folder and again, I could use OneDrive or I could find a location on this PC. So I'm gonna create a directory for school so I'll say new folder and I'll call that directory school. And then I'll create another new folder and I'll call that folder Eclipse Workspace. And you may want to give this a name that's specific to a course so that each time you take a course, you can have a workspace dedicated for that course. But there's no reason you, all, you couldn't just put all of your code in the same workspace that you're doing for school. So e either one is fine. So you'll notice there's nothing there. The next thing I want to do is open Eclipse and I'll keep this folder open while we wait for Eclipse to load. And you'll notice it'll ask, which workspace do you want to use? And the default is this Eclipse dash workspace. Now there's two ways I could do this. The first way I can go to my folder in Explorer and then I can copy it and then paste it here, or I could browse. And so I'll browse since if you already have a folder, that may be how you would need to do it. And I'll select this folder and I'll say launch. And you'll notice it adds some folders here. Eclipse is open now. So I'm going to move this folder over here. So since this is a new workspace, I don't have any projects. So I'll come up to file, new Java project. And I'll call this new workspace project. And then you can see there's the new workspace project folder. Now, if I create a class, and I'll just call it test class. So let me make this screen a little bigger. So I'll just do a simple print statement here. So I want to save this file. And if I go into new workspace, you'll notice there's a bunch of folders here. There's this bin folder that has a class file and the source file has the actual Java source code. And if I open this with Notepad, that's just a text editor that comes with Windows, you can see there's my file. It's the same as the one here in Eclipse. Now, when I run this, you can see that it works. This folder has all of the information for my project, and this folder has all the information for my workspace. So if I created a new project, then you'll see that we get that folder there. And one other thing when it comes to managing your workspace, let's say I don't have Windows Explorer open, but I would like to get there for whatever reason. So I can right click on the file and then say show in System Explorer. And that will open the source folder that contains this file. And of course, if I do it at the project level, it'll bring me to the workspace folder and I can double click into that project folder. So that's something helpful for when you're submitting code for an assignment or if you wanna zip up a project, that's one way to do it. Okay, so this was a quick overview of setting up a workspace in Eclipse.